Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a big haul today. I have a recipe video coming up here in a couple of weeks that I'm preparing for, not to mention my normal meal prep and all of our dinners for the week. So if you're excited to see what I picked up this week, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those custom to you personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We would love to have you come on over and join us. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I have a big haul. I also have lots of new food finds and some really good deals. So I shopped at both Sprouts and Walmart this week. So let me show you what I picked up. So let's go ahead and start with Sprouts. I mainly went there for my produce. So I did grab another seedless watermelon. We've been eating a lot of watermelon and this was a pretty good deal. I think it was $5.99. And then I got some more of the shredded white meat chicken. I really like to have this on hand. I actually need it for a recipe. It's so much easier than cooking chicken and shredding it myself. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but time is money and this makes my life so much easier. I also picked up some Roma tomatoes for a couple of recipes, a green bell pepper, two big bunches of green onions. I am making Troy's pasta salad for him this week. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a pasta salad I make for Troy that he loves. It's actually on my recipe website under Troy's pasta salad. It is not WW friendly. It's not calorie friendly. You can modify it to make it so, but the recipe is available. It's really, really good. It's a macaroni salad, delish. So I needed two packs of green onions, one for the salad and one for a recipe. I also needed some chives and some fresh parsley, some peaches for my meal prep, one lime, strawberries, which these are supposed to be the sweetest batch. So these were a little bit more expensive, but the lady at Sprout said these strawberries are so sweet and so delicious. So I grabbed them. I want to say they were less than a dollar more than the regular strawberries, and I wanted to try them. And then I also got some mini cucumbers for dip. I love a good veggie and dip. And then I saw this jerky. This was actually on sale for $4.49. This is Bach. Baja Vida Beef Jerky Sweet Orange. No nitrites, no nitrates. It's 90 calories per serving and nine grams of protein. There's about two servings per bag. So I wanted to grab this because I'm actually headed to my 30 year high school reunion in Spokane here in a couple weeks and I wanna take this with me. It's just a great way to have a protein snack on the plane or when I get there. I always like to be prepared when I travel, pack as many snacks as I can. So I picked that up and then I got some Chobani Zero Sugar because the these were four for six. So I got a key lime pie, black cherry, peach, and strawberry cheesecake. And then new food find, which I'm really excited about. These are from the brand Siggy's and Siggy's makes amazing clean ingredient yogurt. These are protein packs, blueberry pomegranate. So they're 110 calories and they have 11 grams of protein. And it's just a little smoothie pouch. These were only $1.99. And again, so excited about these. They do have to be refrigerated. So I won't be able to take them on my trip with me. I will probably take one possibly to the airport though, but I'm excited to try these. I grabbed one blueberry pomegranate and one strawberry acai. If I like these, I will buy more because that's amazing. That's nine, 11 grams of protein, 110 calories. And then I also picked up a all natural grass fed pound of 93.7 ground beef, $7.12. Much more expensive than my fry store, my Kroger store, where I typically get my meat deals, but it's grass fed. And I thought while I was there, I was going to go ahead and pick it up and toss it into the freezer. So that is everything from Sprouts. Let's jump into Walmart. So what you don't see from Walmart is a 24 pack of Diet Coke for Troy and a 24 pack of bottled water. I grabbed some frozen shredded hash browns. I need these for my breakfast meal prep. And then Troy asked for lunch meat. So I picked up quite a bit of deli meat. So I have some turkey. This is actually for me so that I can make breakfast sandwiches, sandwiches. 
I also grabbed some roast beef and some ham. And then he wanted some pastrami and they didn't have pastrami prepackaged in the deli. Nobody was behind the deli counter. I was shopping pretty early. So I just grabbed him some Hillshire Farm pastrami. He has a lot of breakfast sandwiches, sandwiches, and we go through quite a bit of deli meat every week. I also got some more extra creamy whipped cream. I like to put this on my blended coffee. My dogs love whipped cream. I will be picking it up in bulk at Sam's or Costco next time I go, but that will tide us over. And then I needed some taco sauce for a recipe. So I did Taco Bell mild sauce, lots of different milk. So I was out of my fair life plain milk. So I picked up a fair life plain. I needed some whole milk for a recipe and whatever is left over, Troy will drink. And then his typical two gallons of 1% milk for the week. His pasta salad, we put diced ham in there. This is a huge pack. So what I like to do with anything left over is I put it into my omelets. I love making my egg white omelets or my egg foldovers. I've shared those recipes in several what I eat in a day videos. So I picked the big pack up and like I said, whatever's left over, I'll use for those for breakfast. I needed some light shredded cheese, actually for a couple of different recipes. I got a big block of sharp cheddar for Troy's pasta salad, as well as elbow macaroni. Those two things are part of his salad. Picked up some Kojita cheese. I am making a, this is for my lunch meal prep, and then I toss it in the freezer because I'm actually making another recipe that calls for this for my boot camp girls night next weekend. So that'll be perfect. It'll come in handy for two separate recipes. And then I did grab a couple more yogurts at Walmart. Walmart. I really wanted my toasted marshmallow light and fit for my yogurt bowls. And then I also got a creme brulee. I like these two flavors a lot in my yogurt bowls. And then this time, instead of the Daisy cottage cheese, I picked up the Knutsons. These were a little less expensive and they have less calories and the same amount of protein as the Daisy. So there's 120 calories and 12 grams of protein. So really good. There's just some fruit and some cottage cheese. So I got one of each of the flavors. So I have black cherry, pineapple, peach, blueberry, and raspberry. Let me know if you prefer the Knutson or the Daisy. I love the Daisy, but I wanted to try these. By the way, these are only $1.07 a piece at Walmart. We were completely out of Parmesan cheese, so I did a restock. In fact, I had to restock quite a few things, including light mayo. We are just about out, and this was a dollar or two cheaper than at my Kroger store. And here's a new food find. I was excited to see this. I just happened to stumble upon it when I walked by. This is from Maple Grove's Farm. This is the sugar-free syrup and strawberry. It's says new. So I'm really excited for this. 10 calories for two tablespoons. I thought how good would that be on either ice cream, premier protein pancakes, homemade waffles. I mean, really anything. I'm so excited to try the strawberry. And then I also picked up the sweet baby rays, no sugar added sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. Again, just to restock. I used up my barbecue sauce in my what I eat in a day video, the recipe I made for dinner. I need some just plain, boring, unflavored gelatin for a recipe. I'm actually doing a whole big recipe series on my channel. You'll actually see it not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So I picked up everything for that recipe video. And then I needed two packs of one third less fat cream cheese and also some cream of tartar. And then we were almost out of sour cream. So I grabbed another one of the Daisy Light. And I also picked up two huge containers of Daisy low fat cottage cheese. My Walmart unfortunately does not carry good culture. So I went ahead and grabbed Daisy. This is for some recipes. I also needed a couple of cans of corn. So I just got a huge can. This was actually cheaper than buying multiple small cans. Some cherry, no sugar added pie filling. This is for that recipe video. And then I also needed some hard healthy request cream of chicken soup and a big can of tomato sauce. So that is everything for the week from Walmart and Sprouts. Pretty good sized haul, lots of good deals, new food finds. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinners for the week and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. Here is what is on my menu for dinners for the week. So I'm making a cheesy taco meatloaf. You'll actually see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. We're doing BLTs and then spoiler alert, I have a recipe video coming out with cottage cheese recipes that you'll never know there's cottage cheese in. So we're going to be making those this week as well. And here's what we're doing in meal prep. So you'll see all of these videos on Monday. So for breakfast, I'm doing hash brown crusted bacon and cheddar quiche. So excited for that. And then for lunch, I'm doing Mexican street corn pasta salad. Also excited for that. And then for dessert, we're doing air fryer strawberry crisp 
and I think we're gonna grill some peaches. So it's going to be just a fruity, yummy dessert. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from both Sprouts and Walmart. We are set up for another successful week. I'm so excited for the recipe video I have coming your way. It'll be live, not tomorrow, but the following Sunday. So again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. Down in the description box is nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. Again, it's free, it's supportive. We would love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.